the team that worked on the 150 program, you know, they, nobody was coerced into this. They, everybody who's on it wanted to be on it. I think there was a lot of passion on the program. I mean, uh, people were really excited to be part of this because uh, they knew it was something new, different, better. I'm a second generation Mercury guy and uh, nobody has more passion for this brand and this product than I do. And you see in all of our team members, they're not just engineers, they're boaters as well. I think a lot of it was making sure we kept going back to the voice of the customer. And they told us that they want a light engine, a small engine. Easiest to maintain, most durable. That could really work well for not just the freshwater uh, angler, but also the saltwater angler and something that could even perform on a bass boat, which is historically been a two-stroke market. We really focused on what the needs of the customer were and then satisfying them better than our competition. Some of the inspiration for the engine is there's been kind of a uh, high focus on craftsmanship. We don't just look inside the industry, we look outside as well. We look to trends in automotive, trends in consumer electronics, trends even in aviation. The aircraft was a very critical application. We look towards aircraft engines. It's very catastrophic if you have an issue with an aircraft engine. We focused a lot on some of the technologies there. It really amazes me to watch this team put the engine through its paces from the design testing to simulate all kinds of real world events, leading up to field testing in some of the most abusive climates I've ever seen a boat have to go through. Environments of 20 foot swells and 100 degree temperatures. We're standing in the sound room and it's really unique because we're actually standing over water and we've used this room extensively to get the best sounding outboard engine. Mercury has a tradition. We're uh, well into the 70 plus years of, of being in, in business. This just continues the heritage that's made you know, Mercury famous. Mercury doesn't do band equipment. We don't make motorcycles. You know, we don't make snowmobiles. We do engines for boats. My proudest moment is sitting back and just as people came off the boat uh, standing on the dock and uh, doing their dock talk about wow. wow. Did you feel this? Did you hear that? Essentially telling us that we hit the mark. We did exactly what we wanted to do. That's the kind of thing that you live for when you're, when you're in this kind of business. I'm delighted. Very smooth operating. Very smooth. I was very impressed with the acceleration uh, and top end performance. I drove the new 150 Mercury four stroke today. It was an outstanding machine, extremely quiet and powerful. Had a blast out on the water. I've been a Mercury dealer since 1963. It runs very well. Smooth, quiet. That motor is sweet. We just rode the uh, Ranger 1860 with the uh, 154 stroke. Awesome ride, very quiet. Performance was uh, very, very good. Uh, actually surprised both of us. Probably go back up and change some orders uh, to uh, this uh, 150. After all these years of being anti-Mercury, thinking about becoming a new Mercury outboard dealer. So I'm real impressed with the weight of the engine, real impressed with the speed of the engine. The motor's got very great low-end torque, and uh, I'm really sold on it. I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's a step in the right direction.